So here we are on the Heritage Rail Trail here in York, Pennsylvania. We got together, met up with Steve and Matt. Uh, Steve lives in the York area, so he recommended this trail to us. We're gonna ride up 20 miles to the end, 20 miles back, 40 miles today. I've never been on this trail. This is actually my only second, my second rail trail since being in Pennsylvania. But uh, it turns out this one is a real good, so let's get to the action. Steve is there on his mountain bike. Matt is on a gravel bike. I'm on a gravel bike. It's a, this trail is a mix between gravel and roads. This part is all gravel, so it was good that we had the gravel bikes. It didn't matter though, because Steve had the mountain bike and he smoked us. Not that we were racing, but he smoked us anyway. Uh, I don't. I think me and Matt's legs aren't. I shouldn't speak for Matt, but I would say our legs aren't under us as well as uh, Steve's are. He should not be killing us on the uh, mountain bike, but we started off good. Go out through the city at first and then you get out into the countryside so we all got nice bikes we all got nice uh, motivation to get out here on this beautiful saturday it was, it was a wonderful day no, no doubt about that steve told, pointed out this path here on the, on the left and i just went for it just to see what was up there it reminds me of being a kid you just stay there's a trail go take that trail and just go up there and find something figure it out see what it is this ended up being a, a a campground it appeared i don't know if it was a campground or somebody's private property so we oh. turned out around pretty quickly but it, i don't think it was private property but as you can Go see nowhere. a tent is there a couple tents back up in there but, but i'm not sure there was no sign that said private property but we're in pennsylvania i don't think you want to play let's get out of here <laughs> okay i like it I'm glad I took this trail up though, because it was cool exploring it. It's totally, totally feeling like a kid when you're riding a bike, but especially when you do something like that, you can get up on the, uh, on the dirt pass. Here on the right side, you can see the the rail. Um, apparently, or on the left side now, apparently Abraham Lincoln took this trail um, on his way to the Gettysburg Address. I don't know. Don't listen to Rock Eastwood. I'm not a historian. Just something I read. I'm just passing along. I'm not going to give you the play-by-play -play yeah, reading off of Wikipedia sure. or anything. Just right. a couple things I read. Um, beautiful country. Steve here is talking about how he was riding his mountain bike downhill and got poison ivy all over his arm. So that's cool. I want to do some mountain biking too. I'm quite jealous. I'd like to have a mountain bike and a gravel bike as we were discussing out through the day. It's nice. It would be nice to have both, one of each. Um, yeah, I hope to get one in the future. I'll, use, I'll, use, I'll probably buy a used one because I bought this gravel bike new. It was quite expensive. So if I can find a mountain bike, let me get it used. Matt forgot his water bottle, so he had to go back. I want to laugh at him, but later on in the day, I forgot my GoPro at one of the places. So eh, I'm not making fun of him at all. It's cool going through these tunnels. It was so cool. It was hot outside, pretty hot outside. But going through this tunnel was so cool in there. I mean, we know that, right? It's all shady, but it was like a little chilly just for that split second. But as you know, the GoPros don't pick up uh, light that very good, so that's why it looked like that, but that's all right. Matt coming up on my right. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Good day, beautiful trail, beautiful trail. Lots of bike riders out, see some horses later, uh, joggers. Um, everything people walking right there walking his dog and everyone's friendly people on bikes riding by and they smile at you and wave and say how you doing good day look at this area though <laughs> this blew me away when we got to this point i was like oh my god like this is what i live for right here this I, I know, right? um, vistas, hey, look at this. this is awesome gorgeous Hell yeah. gorgeous when i you think this. of pennsylvania this is what i think um I don't think of Philadelphia or any cities or anything. This is, this is, a uh, look at that. Soak it in. But that's what I do. I soak it in. I'm here to enjoy, man. I'm here to enjoy. I made a comment a couple days ago on Instagram or something, or I forgot, but it might have been a short that I deleted. I, I don't know. Um, I was saying how America's still great. It's still beautiful. And I got a lot of crappy comments. People were like, well, it's beautiful for who? It, look. <laughs> look <laughs> they said prove it all right here you go proven people just are so complainers man they're so complainers that their life is hard it's just because you're living like crap get out here go do something fun don't just sit in your city and watch tv and look at twitter man i'm not gonna get into it but uh, i guess i did get into it but let it go go outside freaking go outside that's what i mean to say life is so much better outside
Anyway, look at all these cool houses and architecture and old, old style. Um, just, just great. Just, it gives me like goosebumps. It's so beautiful. Like, and I, people, if you're new to the channel, I haven't been to the states in a long time, or I lived overseas more than I lived in the states. Let me say that. But I'm just recently back, going back to the states now. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped on it. I'm hyped on how beautiful it is. Whatever, whatever. You take for granted where you're at. People take for granted. But I'm not taking for granted what I'm seeing and experiencing right now. I'm just everything's lovely. Uh, everything's lovely. That's it. I'm having a great time. This, these, these trails, these riding my bike and uh, getting exercise and hanging out with friends and it's it's just good. Everything's good. It's a good life. You can get mad if you want about me saying that, but um, whatever. If you're angry, you want to just pull other people down. Um, I'm not buying it. Look at this train came by i didn't even know this rail was still going so when the train came by i got all stoked uh should i get stoked because of a train no probably not but i i did anyway uh, it was awesome i like this shot right here with matt coming up on the, on the left <laughs> cruising uh this is cool freaking guy yeah man beautiful what an awesome day beautiful out here on the saturday beautiful about 75 degrees shade of the trees this is living baby this is living let's go let's freaking go I dream about rides like this york pennsylvania heritage rail trail I like how we just cut along the trail to see things, houses here on the one side, and the history here on the right side, the, the rail here on the one, one side. Just, just, I don't know, you might think it, there's nothing, nothing to see, but I, I disagree. It's totally things to see. And this railroad tracks reminds me of uh, Pennsylvania. That's awesome. These railroad tracks remind me of the movie Stand By Me. Um, I don't know, one of my favorite movies when I was a youngin'. Uh, I, I just dig it. It's like an adventure, you know what I mean? You're going along the tracks, it's an adventure. final mile well not even the final mile but final mile to the halfway point mile 20 Whew, what a workout normal cyclists might say this is nothing but for me it's something but it's only halfway Either I got my second win or this part's downhill. Woo hoo hoo! Now I'm feeling good. Or maybe it's just because the halfway point's coming up. He might run me over. We don't know. Is that last part downhill or did I get my second win? Oh no, that was great. No, that was <laughs> I was like, woo, I got energy back. Everyone hanging out there at the end, chitty chatting, feeling good about making it 20 miles. We still got to go 20 back, but pulled out my trusty Hidden Woodsman uh, food bag. I bring that thing with me, with me everywhere on any hikes or camping or whatever. I always got the food in there, so that's my, that's my go-to bag. Whatever. I'm not talking about gear here. Man, those uh, those TJ, TJ, what a store. Those peanut butter uh, things are so good. I bet. It says here on the sign that it's the Mason Dixon line. So that's cool. Interesting. More history. Zero mile. And then we headed back, started going back in the other direction. A little bit of headwind, which sucks, but that's okay. It's all in the game. You want to be an outdoorsman, you deal with the weather. And the weather's great, but you got to deal with the wind too. Beautiful. I'm loving this. I'm loving this cycling. So I haven't really got my legs under me yet. 40 miles is pushing it for me. For me right now at this point, which, you know, is ridiculous. People do centuries all the time. And I hope to build up to 
doing 100 miles. Gave the American idiot gave a uh, Matt the GoPro to wear well. for a while to get another view. I, I'm so jealous that it looked way better from his angle, I guess, because of his size or the way he's bent over riding his bike or the size of his bike. I don't know. It just looked, the view looks better than me on my drop bars. It's just regular bars. Um, yeah, it looked really cool from his angle. My back tire here. Hey. On that way. Sick, sick. I totally did it on purpose. <laughs> I hope I caught that. That was quite awesome. So, man, I like the, the, the camera view. I got a new GoPro 11 with the super wide angle lens. I forgot what to call it, the, the max lens, whatever. So this is my first time using it. I'm satisfied with it. So I had two GoPros running today. One on the little, uh, on the mouth thing, and on Matt's chest, my chest earlier, there, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with the way it looks out. L look at that, you can see his legs and everything on mine, you can't see anything. So I guess his bike is longer, I don't know, whatever. I'll shut up about it, just, um, yeah, I'm jealous. We took our first break here on the way back. Uh, this is about 10, this is about mile 30, I'd say. Uh, 10 more miles uh, to go, much needed a break. <laughs> Starting to feel at this point. It was quite hot out there. Matt eating his TJ cookies. Trader Joe, man. Trader Joe is one of the best stores I've been to. I've never been to it before. Last month was the first time. So Matt Matt took me over there and I was like, whoa, this is awesome. Got some stickers here. Rockies with stickers. I don't know why Matt was so stoked to get them. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. If anyone wants any stickers, hit me up. Um, yeah, that was cool. Here we go for the final push. Heading out, 10 miles to go. Matt going for a cruising ahead of us for a little bit. Do this 40 miler, and next step we'll go for half century. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, man. Beautiful. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Woo. Look at these things. I don't know what the heck those little <laughs> pedaling. Nice. Whatever. Have your fun. Hey. It's cool. Hey. I want to ride one of those. Those are awesome. Very cool. Dave Lincoln saw those. He'd be like, what the hell's going on? What happened to my country? Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful land. Farm, Little house was way back up beautiful. in there. You know, it's, somebody's living their life. Beautiful. Hey. I hurry up and jump across before I get hit by one of those. Uh, the way to go. Hey. Final mile. Final half mile. Woo! Almost at mile marker 40. Let's go to the end. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Oh my God. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> What's sick about being my BMX bikes? Doing those wheelies easy. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. Wonder where Matt is. He's back there somewhere. Phone in the caboose. Boom. Success. 40 miles, baby. Well done. Yeah, man. Handshakes all around. Yeah. 40 miles. I'm proud of myself. Or all of us. I'm proud of all of us. Well done.
Yeah, so that was the Heritage Rail Trail. Thanks for watching, baby. Come back for the next one. Rock Eastwood out.